Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 26. Class 26. Let's go! Beginner. Welcome to Class 26. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Welcome to Class 26. Vamos a empezar practicando lo que hemos visto ayer. We will start by practicing what we saw yesterday, what we were studying yesterday in Class 25, or in the last class, I should say. The present continuous. The present continuous. So, are you standing? No, I'm not standing. Are you sitting? Yes, I'm sitting. We conjugate the verb as it, we, we, we have the verb to be. Conjugated, very simple. Ya sabes hacer ese, ese tiempo verbal porque cambiamos, bueno, conjugamos los verbos, es el verbo to be, más gerundio, que es muy fácil, entonces... Are you eating? Yes, I am eating. I am eating. Are you eating? Yes, I'm eating. Are you working? No, I'm not working. Are you listening to the radio? Yes, I am listening to the radio. Are you driving? No, I'm not driving. Are you cooking dinner? In both out the que no. No, I'm I'm not cooking dinner. Is your father playing football? No, he's not. No, he's not playing football. Is your mother is your mother swimming? Is your mother swimming? No, she's not. She's not swimming. Is Richard teaching English? Yes. Richard is teaching English. Am I speaking? Yes, you're speaking. Are you playing cards? No, I'm not playing cards. Jugando a, a cartas, playing cards. No, I'm not playing cards. Is your brother singing the song? ¿Está cantando tu hermano? Is your brother singing? Is your brother singing the song? Yes, yes, my brother is singing the song. Are they driving? Están conduciendo. Are they driving? Yes, they're driving. Is he reading the book? Is he reading the book? Yes, he's reading the book. Are they coming? Yes, they're coming. Okay, muy bien. Ahora podemos practicar lo que hemos visto ayer con delante de, in front of, detrás de, behind, y al lado de. Next to. ¿Qué es next to? Aquí estoy en una sala con muchos... Bueno, hay, 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 un, hay unos animales aquí, la verdad. Hay, hay unos animales. Hay, ooh. Ooh, the dogs. What are they? They're, they're dogs. They're dogs. Los perros. Los perros están delante de mí. The dogs are in front of me. The dogs are in front of me. Eso es delante de. Están delante de mí. They're in front of me. They're, the dogs are in front of me. Yes, yes. And the... Ooh. Está, hay algo aquí detrás de mí. Hay algo aquí detrás. Es un, es un gato. Bueno, son gatos. The cats. The cats are... Están detrás de mí. They're behind me. They're behind me. Fíjate que no digo behind of... You know, behind. They're behind me. They're not in front of me. They're behind me. Y aquí, a mi lado aquí, hay algo más que... <laughs> Yo creo que es un burro, ¿no? Es un burro. Al lado. Al lado de mí hay un burro. There is a... There is a donkey next to me. There is a donkey next to me. Yes, there is a donkey, or possibly two donkeys. There are. Hay dos burros al lado de mí. There are two donkeys next to me. Yes. Whoa, whoa. Is it a, 
Is it a cat? No, it's not. Is it a dog? No, it's not. What is it? It's an elephant. Y está delante de mí. Hay un elefante aquí delante de mí. There's an elephant in front of me. There's an elephant in front of me. It's true. There's an elephant in front of me. Delante de mí. Ooh. Son pájaros. Son pa no, son monos. Son monos. Hay monos. <laughs> Hay algo, hay algo detrás de mí, pero no sé. Oh, son monos. Detrás de mí. There are, there are monkeys behind me. There are some monkeys behind me. They're not in front of me. They're behind me. ¿Y, y, y ahora al lado? ¿Al lado de mí? Whoa. Whoa, hay un, hay un, ¿sabes? It's a horse. It's a horse. ¿Y está al lado de mí? It's next to me. There's a horse next to me. There's a horse next to me. Very good. In front of, delante de, behind, detrás de, next to, al lado de, al lado de. Muy bien. Very good. Word of the day. Time now for our word of the day. That's right. The word of the day. Nuestro palabra del día. The word of the day. The word of the day today is help. Help. Ayuda. Ayúdame. Help me. Help me. And if you need help, if you need help, be sure, asegúrate de que entras en la página web bauganingles.com, go to the website bauganingles.com, and you can ask. Con tu contraseña puedes pedir ayuda de nuestros profesores a través de la página web bauganingles.com. Com, okay? He, and we will help you. We will help you with any problems. Okay? This is for these subscribers, the subscribing students, of course, to the Baugan Inglés 4.0. So the word of the day today is help. Help. Que no es help. No, no, no. Help. 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 The word of the day today is help. Now we will practice with four. For, for, que es para, que significa para, Us, yeah, delante de un sustantivo nom, uh, pronombre significa para, ¿vale? Is this for me? Answer me in the affirmative. Is this for me? Is this for me? Yes, it's, cambiamos al it. Is, is this for me? Yes, it's for you. Is this for them? Yes, it's for them. Them. Fíjate que estoy aquí sacando la lengua. No puedes ver en casa, pero estoy sacando mi lengua para hacer el sonido de th th this, 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 that, these, those. Very important, the pronunciation. Is this for them? Yes, it's for them. And la respuesta, it. It's, con la contracción, it's for them. Is this for her? Yes. It's for her. It's for her. Is that for her? Yes, it's for her. Are those for us? Yes, they're for us. They are for us. They're for us. Esto es para mí. This is for me. Eso es para ti. That's for you. Esto es para él. This is for him. Eso es para ella. That's for her. Con la contracción. That's for her. Is that for her? Yes, that's for her. Is this for them? Es para ellos. Es este para ellos. Is this for them? Yes, it's for them. Are these for them? Yes, they're, they are, they're for them. Are these for me? Are these for me? Son para mí. Are these for me? Yes, they're for you. Oh, thank you. Is this for him? Is this for him? Yes, it's for him. Is this for me? Yes, it's for you. Siempre en voz alta. Okay. En voz alta en casa. Are these for us? Afirmativo. Yes, there they are. Con la contracción, they're for us. Yes, they're for us. Are those for her? Yes, 
there for her. You know, mas, is this for them? Yes, it's for them. Very good. Muy bien. Very good. Vocabulary of the day. Time now for our vocabulary of the day. The vocabulary of the day. Entre. Entre. The first word today. Entre. Among. Among. Okay. Es muy, bueno, es un poco parecido a la palabra between. Pero digamos, between con dos cosas. Por ejemplo, between, uh, okay, Madrid is between. Hmm, Madrid is between the north of Spain and the south of Spain. Madrid is between Asturias and Andalucía. Okay, it is between. But among... Con muchas cosas. Cuando yo estoy en el bosque, when I'm in the forest, I am among the trees, entre los árboles, porque hay muchos. I'm among the trees. If there are two trees, I can stand between. I can stand between the trees. Or I can stand among the trees, if there are many trees. Okay? Enfadado. Angry. Angry. We use the verb to get angry. To get angry. And enfadado. He's angry. He gets angry every day. He's angry now. Está enfadado. He's angry. He's angry. Are you angry? No, I'm not angry. Ask me if I'm angry. Kyle, are you angry? No, I'm not angry. Are you hungry? Tienes hambre? Are you hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, but I'm not angry. 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 Enfadado. Hungry. Que tienes hambre. Okay? Es muy importante la H de hungry, que, estás sali que hay mucho aire saliendo. H hungry. Hungry. Pero no digamos hungry, pero hungry. No es la J de jamón. You know, hungry, hungry. I'm hungry, but I'm not angry. Because I'm hungry because I didn't eat much desayuno. Desayuno? ¿Cómo se dice? Breakfast. 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 Como un descanso, a break. Break. Se, se, se escribe así. Break fast. Hay que hacer un descanso rápido. A, br a fast break. Pero break fast, breakfast. Pero no, no digamos break fast, sino breakfast. Breakfast. To have breakfast. Every morning I have breakfast. Every morning I have breakfast. To have breakfast. Okay? Conmigo, breakfast. Very good. Frío. Frío. Cold. 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 Tengo frío. I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm not hot. I'm cold. Tengo frío. Digamos que soy... Digamos así que como soy frío. Digamos así en inglés. I'm cold. I'm cold. O estoy. I'm cold. Y luego padre. Father. 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 Y mis padres. Parents. My father is Canadian. My parents... Are Canadian. Are your parents Canadian? No, they aren't. Are they Spanish? Yes, they are. My father is Canadian. My mother is Canadian. So my parents are Canadian. It's true. They are both Canadian. Mm. So, now we can practice. Vamos a practicar. Podemos practicar con los números. Ahora números de once a veinte. Números de 11 a 20, from 11 to 20. Now, it's, in very, it's very important to develop good pronunciation habits. Es muy importante que podemos pronunciar bien los números. Okay, so repeat. Repeat with me. 11, 12, 13. 13. Estoy sacando la lengua. 13. 14, 14, 15, 
15. 15. Es muy interesante. 5. 5. Y luego 15. 15. La V se cambia al F. Porque tenemos una relación muy especial entre la F y la V. En inglés, porque la V se pronuncia justo como un F, pero vocalizado. Que es, que es, que es muy, muy importante. Fifteen y five. Five. Si, si digamos five con F, es muy parecido, pero vo luego vocalizamos. Five. Five. Y luego fifteen. Por eso, fijamos que hay un, una relación especial entre esos sonidos. Y se nota así que cuando, cuando, cuando vamos de, 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 de 5 al 15, from 5 to 15, hay el cambio, cambio de un, un sonido al otro. Entonces, 15, 5, 5, 5. No es 5, sino 5, 15, 15. Y 16, 16, 16. 17, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, okay, so faster, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, very good, 20, now, From 20, backwards, en revés, al revés. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Eso es. We can count now with the even numbers. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. The even numbers, los números pares, even numbers. And the odd numbers, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. Okay? Let's count all the way up and all the way down, and then we're going to finish. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, we're going to, now we're going to finish, we're completely out of time. Do you remember the word of the day, nuestra palabra del día? The word of the day, help, ayuda, help. If you need help, pauganingles.com. Okay, muchas gracias y hasta la próxima. Ciao.